compliments are really nice compliments are great you appreciate compliments because they give you a, a nice little boost a positive boost uh but compliments from certain people they can hit a bit different and in my opinion this is exactly what's going on right now with zay flowers we of course know he had a great game a very impactful game against the Chargers the other night uh, we all witnessed it and it was nice to see him not only get one touchdown but get two touchdowns and get two touchdowns in two different ways one was receiving and one was rushing so that was really nice to see but of course with the game being on national tv us Ravens fans we weren't the only ones that watched it uh, it was a game that the world was watching but somebody in specific Tyreek Hill he watched the game and he had some very interesting comments and compliments uh, for Zay Flowers. And Tyreek Hill, he said, Zay Flowers is him. Now, we know if somebody calls somebody him, then that means they are giving that person the ultimate praise. They are saying, hey, this person, whoever we call in him, they are the best or one of the best at whatever it is that they do in this case Tyreek Hill calling Zay Flowers him he's saying that Zay Flowers got it he's like that he's one of them dudes and I think for any Ravens fan they would probably agree because ever since preseason like even before scratch that before preseason even started and many camp and OTAs we kept hearing this was after Odell was here this was Rashad Bateman here Nelson Aguilar and many camp and OTAs and all that we kept hearing oh Zay Flowers he looking like the best receiver on the Ravens and I was like, oh, okay, cool, 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 man, that's nice, all right, but look, o Odell just got back there, and he ain't really going hard like that, and then we kept hearing it, even when Odell was practicing, and then we kept hearing, oh, man, Zay Flowers, he turning heads, he, he, he beating all these cornerbacks and stuff, he going crazy, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, he going against Ravens corners, they ain't, they taking it easy, that's their teammate and whatnot, so they ain't going, they ain't going too hard against him, it, it, it's cool, I, I, I'm glad to hear it, though, but then, the joint practices rolled around and uh, against the commanders. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, y'all remember. But then not only the joint practice rolled around, but the preseason rolled around. And in those preseason games, they flowers looked amazing. And even when he didn't have the ball in his hands, he was still causing havoc because we continue to see cornerbacks uh, get holding penalties on Zay Flowers, pass interference on Zay Flowers because he was just too shifty and he was just too much to deal with. And with Zay Flowers, so, so we, we saw it early on that he was going to be a problem. Then a the regular season started, and things continued. While his numbers weren't eye-popping, they weren't extremely crazy, anything like that, but Zay Flowers, he was getting involved with the Baltimore Ravens a lot. They were feeding him a lot. They had him, They were whether it was throwing passes, whether it was doing the end arounds, the jet sweeps, whatever you, call, whatever you name it, they had Zay Flowers doing it because the Baltimore Ravens just knew we got to get the ball in Zay Flowers' hands. And overall this season, he has been Baltimore Ravens' best receiver. And that's not a shot at the other guys at all because they've all been doing their part. But Zay Flowers, he has been the best. But we're back to Tyreek Hill with his comments calling Zay Flowers him. That's, in my opinion, that's big. That's huge because somebody who is him, somebody who is probably the best receiver in the game right now and has been consistently been one of the best receivers in the game for years. For him to not just acknowledge you, oh, not just acknowledge, oh, this is a Flowers guy, he's pretty good, but for him to publicly acknowledge you and say, oh, Zay Flowers is him, in my opinion, that says a lot. That says a whole lot. It, it lets us know that he respects, not only respects Zay Flowers' game, but loves Zay Flowers' game. And he sees something in Zay Flowers that a lot of us see as well. But he got a different point of view because he's out there playing on the football field. So he knows what it takes to excel in this league. And to me, he's just letting us, giving us a nice reminder, hey, Zay Flowers, he got it. He got it. But Tyreek Hill, he didn't stop there. He didn't stop there because I guess he's, he started to talk about Zay Flowers' current situation with the Baltimore Ravens because he said that he got that boy G. Lou and Dub coaching him. Now, G. Lou, who is that? Uh, I would assume that he's referring to Greg Lewis. And Greg Lewis was a former wide receiver coach for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think Tyreek Tyre Hill is pretty familiar with those Kansas City Chiefs, I would say. Uh, so Tyreek Hill obviously has a, a respect and a love for Greg Lewis as well. But he also said, he said he got that boy G. Lou and Dub coaching him. Who's Dub? 
that would be, I think, Keith Williams. That would be Keith Williams. Now, with Keith Williams, the Ravens hired him and T. Martin a couple years ago just to sort of start to promote some, some change within the organization, especially when it came to the wide receivers. And we have seen that change over the years. Um, but with Keith Williams specifically, uh, Dub, he is somebody that coaches Tyreek Hill. He, he's worked with Tyreek Hill for a while, like in the off seasons and stuff, and been like sort of a personal coach for him. So Tyreek Hill is letting it be known like, hey, he got Greg Lewis and Keith Williams coaching him. And he did an emoji, the, the, the happy tears in his face, uh, tears in his eyes emoji, excuse me. So basically what, it, what I'm assuming he's saying is like, look, hey, Zay Flowers is nice. And he got some great coaches around him that's going to help him get even better. And I, I just thought that was extremely significant. And it, it, it was nice to see because... I think that with, with, with that, that really gives, that can really give Zay Flowers a boost, not to make his head big or anything like that, but it can give him a positive boost in the right direction because we see what positive boosts do, especially for wide receivers. Y'all remember Odell Beckham Jr.? Raven signed Odell Beckham Jr. to a one-year $15 million deal uh, worth up to $18 million because there were three million incentives that Odell could get. Uh, the three million incentives were tied to Leading the team in catches, leading the team in no, leading the team in yards, leading the team in touchdown catches, and leading the team in I think just maybe regular catches too. I, f I forget what the third incentive was, but anyway, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Big deal, uh, huge deal as a matter of fact, especially for somebody who hadn't played in over a year. But Odell Beckham Jr. Through the beginning of the season, he was pretty quiet. Ravens were trying. They were trying to get their, their guy the ball. They were trying to get their $15 million man the ball. But it just it wasn't happening like that. So And then Odell Beckham Jr., he showed some signs of frustration. He's throwing his helmet down and stuff. He, he was heated. Because there, there was one game specifically. It was in Baltimore. I forgot what, who the team it was against. But Odell Beckham Jr., I, I remember where he, he ran his route. Lamar threw it to him. It was a good ball, but the defender interfered with him. It was pass interference. So the Ravens ended up getting the ball like at the one-yard line. But Odell was heated. Because he didn't make the touchdown catch. He was mad. He threw his helmet down. Oh, he was all just upset. Um, but then a couple weeks later against the Seahawks. Uh, Ravens, they blowing the Seahawks out. Then Lamar exits the game. Tyler Huntley comes in the game. And Tyler Huntley and the Ravens, they keep throwing. Because they're really trying to get Odell Beckham Jr. a touchdown. Tyler Huntley threw Odell Beckham Jr. a touchdown. He's celebrating. He started hitting the park height, strutting, strutting all that. And he was just... Everybody went crazy. But that right there, that was a, an extremely significant moment for Odell Beckham Jr. Because ever since then, ever since that moment, Odell Beckham Jr., he has, he has continued to be more and more involved in the offense ever since then. And he started to really get his groove back. He, he ain't the Odell of old. We know that, and we don't expect that. I think it's unfair to expect him to be the Odell Beckham Jr. from New York Giants, uh, even the Odell Beckham Jr. from the Browns. And in front of the Rams too, but um, he's still he 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 had just been getting better, and he's starting to really hit his stride more and be again more involved and look more loose and what not more fluid. Um, but it all started, in my opinion, with that touchdown catch. And when he got that touchdown catch, that gave him extra motivation. Like, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait I, I am back because I I could see. Not saying that he did, but I could see if he was questioning himself. Like, man, do I still got it? Can I? Really make an impact on this team. I know I feel I feel like I can, but I just I haven't done it yet. But when he got that touchdown catch, ever since then, everything's been looking more and more up for him every week. Now in the Chargers game, it was he had three catches, so it was a little quieter than the previous games, but he's still been more and more involved. Uh, so it's been a good thing. So my point was saying all that. I say all that to say this was Zay Flowers. He got his touchdown against the the Seahawks. I, I'm tripping against the Chargers. Uh, he got a touchdown against the Chargers uh, in a Sunday Night Football game a couple days ago, which was great. Um, but then, toward the end of the game, to ice it. I know, yeah, he could have just run and got the first down and kneeled down. They could have ran out the clock, and that would have been the end of the game, and I get it. Yeah, he could have done that, but I am very glad that he didn't. I, I really am. Now, I know that things could have went a lot of other ways, but Ravens held it down. Their defense did what they had to do. They clutched it out yet again in that game because they were clutching it out literally all game. But um, the defense held it down. But Zay Flowers, when he got that second touchdown, I really think that could set him up really, really nice. 
for the rest of the season. That can do a lot for his confidence. Uh, not And not that his confidence is down. I don't think his confidence is down at all. But that can just give Zay Flowers a huge boost moving forward. Uh, and really Zay, letting Zay Flowers know, like, no, you, you got it. You got it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep scoring. Keep making plays. Because Zay Flowers, he's been close a lot of times to getting some touchdowns. Even, like, again, in that Thursday night football game against the Bengals, he scored a touchdown. Odell Beckham Jr. threw a clean block, but the ref said, no, no, no. You know what? We're going to throw a little crazy penalty. We're going to call holding on Odell Beckham Jr. Bring that touchdown back, Zay. So that was unfortunate. But he he know, he is he is a special player. But I just thought that um, with Tyreek Hill acknowledging him, uh, that makes it even more special. 